I am extremely excited to say that we finally got some new stuff in Save the World, people. We got a new dungeon with a new boss and new boss mechanics. We got a new hero as a reward from the new dungeon. And we also got a new home base status report. Uh, before we take a look at the home base status report, I did want to quickly explain how to kill the new lab dungeon boss, who is Mr. Hyde. And as you can tell, he does look a lot bigger than the skin does. And again, this is just after playing it one time. I'm sure there's a lot of really awesome ways to kill him, but I just sort of wanted to explain the mechanics. You'll notice when I shoot with my minigun, we're not really dealing a whole lot of damage. And it's gonna take you forever to kill him this way. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna keep an eye out for blue glow that he throws at you. And when you collect three of them, you're gonna wanna put them into these towers that you see around the area. Once you put the blue glow into those towers, you should be able to deal a lot more damage to the boss. So, like I said, I've only tried it once, but we're going to try a, a bunch of different methods to kill him and see what's the best way to do it. But no matter what method you use, you're going to want to put blue glow in the towers and then try to deal damage to the boss. Another thing I noticed while we were shooting at Hyde is that he sort of struggles when it comes to walking underneath this little archway. Uh, I noticed when me and my entire team went through the archway, like he sort of got stuck and he couldn't walk through it, which made it really easy to shoot at him and not take a whole lot of damage. He did eventually end up getting through it, but that's just something else I wanted to point out. It may help you deal a little bit of extra damage without taking a whole lot of damage. Uh, try to walk through the walkways and you can sort of slow him down or stop him completely from getting close to you and dealing damage to you. So just wanted to explain that really quickly. As you can tell, the map looks completely different. Even when you load in, it sort of looks a little bit different. Sort of reminds me of the Frost Knight map a little bit or Crack Shots neighborhood. But once you get inside the lab, which is underground, all of that is new. And I haven't really explored it yet, but I'm really looking forward to exploring it. I'm really looking forward to testing out some different loadouts against the boss. So we're going to be streaming it on Twitch later today. And I'm also going to try to upload some gameplay later. But yeah, just wanted to give you all a heads up on how to kill the new dungeon boss. And by the way, I'm loving the new dungeon boss. I'm loving the new dungeons. I love the way it looks. I like the mechanics. Uh, if you haven't played Save the World in a while, I would recommend coming back and trying out this new dungeon. I think you might like it. Anyways, now I want to go ahead and take a look at the home base status report. So the first thing they said was, Attention Commanders, the Hexylvania Venture season continues to haunt on. As an early reminder, the Hexylvania will be making its ghostly exit on November 16th, so collect all the sweet rewards before that date sneaks up on you like a husk in the night. Another heads up, Commanders, in a future update, the Save the World playlist will move out of the sub-game select screen and join the rest of the Fortnite in the Discovery menu. We will keep you updated on this process. So what I believe that means is you're going to have to go into BR and then select Save the World from there. Anyways, they then went on to say, after weeks and weeks of searching, we have finally uncovered the new dungeon just waiting to be explored. You're probably eager to learn more about it, so let's get started. It says here, in a seemingly abandoned town lies an eerie and mysterious underground shelter. The good news, this shelter is filled with plenty of blue glow. The bad news, it is also filled with traps, husk, and husk incubation chambers. There is even more to watch out for, commanders. We are getting reports that a certain two-faced scientist takes residency in this facility, and he does not take kindly to strangers. Completing the lab dungeon will unlock a new banner, as well as a new soldier hero who thrives in chaos. For those up for a challenge, completing the lab at max difficulty will unlock a new spray. Dive into the lab starting today. And I have already completed it at power level 140. Here's what that new spray looks like. And honestly, I'm really excited that we're starting to get some cosmetic items as rewards and save the world. I feel like this is definitely a great step in the right direction. Anyways, here's the new lab dungeon. All you have to do is go to the left of the crypts and you can see it located here. The first time you complete it, you'll get some gold as well as some candy. After that, you'll get this quest right here that says complete two missions in the lab dungeon to get the new chaos agent. 
I don't believe he's been added to the collection book yet, but in the home base status report they said, for his standard perk he has quick fingers, which makes you automatically reload your equipped weapon whenever you use an ability. And his commander perk also reloads your equipped weapon whenever you use an ability. And when you reload a weapon this way, you have a percent chance to summon a phantasm based on how empty the clip was, with a cap of 80%. So it sounds like the more empty your clip is when you reload it, the better chance you'll have to conjure a phantasm. And we'll upload some gameplay of him tomorrow. They then went on to show us what we can expect over the next couple of weeks. This week, Sanguine Dusk is going to be returning to the event store. And she's going to be available on October the 16th. I don't really consider her to be one of the best heroes, so I wouldn't recommend maxing her out. But I would recommend getting her if you don't have her already. The Ghost Pistol is also going to be returning this week, and we've already reviewed this weapon. I'll leave a link to that review in the description if you want to go check it out. The Blady Acres questline is also going to be returning this week, and it's going to be available on October the 16th at 8 p.m. And it says here, that strange cube has invited the home base squad to another one of the dark rituals. This one takes place at the Blady Acres summer camp. It won't be all fun and games though, as the camp just so happens to be loaded with dangerous, sharp objects. Don't let this imminent slasher thriller scare you away from completing this questline, as doing so will reward you with everyone's favorite Bloodhaven Pyrotechnic Alumni Raven. This questline becomes available on October 16th at 8pm. Uh, I would recommend getting him if you haven't gotten him already. His lefty and righty does a lot of damage. Last time I checked, he is bugged when you put him in your support team, but you're still going to want to get him because his lefty and righty is really good. When you get him, you also get the preemptive strike team perk, which is a really good team perk to use with high damage weapons like sniper rifles, shotguns, and rocket launchers. So you're definitely going to want to get him from the Blady Acres quest line on October the 16th. And that's everything we're getting this week. Like I said, they also told us what we can expect to see next week. The only thing we're going to be getting next week is Bloodfinder AC. And I don't really use him that often either. But like I said, if you don't have him, you may want to go ahead and get him for your collection book. And you'll be able to get him from the event store. And that's everything that's in the home base status report. One thing that wasn't mentioned in the home base status report is that there's also a new banner that you could possibly get. I haven't unlocked the quest that shows it. But according to that tweet, you should be able to earn a new banner as well. So yeah, to sum things up, I love the new boss that's in the lab dungeon. I love the lab dungeon as well. And I really like the fact that they're giving us cosmetic items as rewards. I'm really hoping that they continue doing this because this is exactly what Save the World needed, in my opinion. Anyways, we're going to be streaming some more dungeons on Twitch as soon as I upload this video. And we're also going to upload some of the new dungeon gameplay a little bit later. And like I said, we'll review the new hero tomorrow. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about today's update. I hope y'all found this video useful and thanks for watching.